everyone, it's Annika and welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a quick intro for this vlog before we get into it so I can kind of explain to you guys what we are going to be doing today. I had the idea that I thought it would be fun to test out other people's productive routines or productive habits, kind of put them to the test throughout my day and give you my thoughts on how I feel at the end of it. So today the person's daily routine that we are going to be following is Dr. Andrew Huberman. And if you don't know who Andrew Huberman is, he is the host of the Huberman Labs podcast and he is also a neuroscientist and associate professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford University. He is also a partner of the sports and nutrition company company Momentus where he offers branded dietary supplements and so that is why his daily routine is one of the most popular and well studied and well talked about daily routines. So a lot of the habits in his daily routine are science based and their main goal is to achieve maximum productivity while also going with the natural flow of your body and nervous system. So throughout the vlog we're going to alter my schedule to his habits. The only one that I didn't do is exercise because I didn't go to the gym this day but everything else we are going to be stepping into something new. I loved a lot of it, so make sure to keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning, guys. I'm ready to start testing this morning routine with you. I'm pretty excited about it. And we're gonna kind of alter it to my day, but we're gonna definitely still stick to like specific habits that Andrew Huberman has talked about that is like essential for him. First thing is to wake up around 6.30 or 7. So I think there's just like some health benefits that Huberman talks about, um, like getting up early. And the next essential thing for him is to drink two glasses of water. We are also going to go out and get some sunlight and go for a tiny like 20 minute walk. Um, and I have an outfit picked out for that already. This is from Gilly Hicks and the outfit is so cute. So we have this like really pretty slate blue like zip up. And then we have this padded tank top and I'm gonna put on the matching yoga pants with it and they flare out at the bottom. They have so many cute pieces for fall and winter and I wanted to chat to you guys about them and give you a haul of some of the pieces that I have been loving. I want to say thank you so much to Gilly Hicks for sponsoring this video and now that we are getting into our winter mindset, I'm going to show you some of my favorite pieces from their fall winter collection. If you want to shop any of these pieces from Gilly Hicks, then you can use the code Annika Moves for 20% off at checkout and this is valid through November 16th. So we have these blue gray leggings. I love these because they're high-waisted, they're seamless, so that really buttery soft material and they flare out at the bottom. And to go with that, I got the matching blue gray zip up jacket. It's one of those really flattering and pretty like tight jackets. And so I decided to get it in a white color as well. I love the collar at the top. It's just a really cute extra detail. I have this Sherpa brown set. So I got the shorts version of this. To go with that, I have the matching top. I have on the white version, which it's the same zip up just in white. You can see how cute it is on and how cozy. And then I have on the pants with it. Next, we have a bit of a thicker coat, large oversized black coat. On the side, it has some cool little pockets. Around the collar, it also has like this really pretty Sherpa. I think these little details just elevate it from being like a, just a big oversized coat to kind of like more of a piece that you can definitely style. If you're looking for some puffers, they also have some really beautiful puffers. So on the inside, it has this really gorgeous Sherpa lining. But the coolest part about this is that she's reversible. So you can wear it this way with the Sherpa facing out if you would rather do that. I got some scarves to show you. First is this really pretty multicolored one and they're just so soft. Honestly, the pink in it really grabbed my attention. I just think all the colors complement each other so well. Literally the exact same thing. I got a white one. It also has like some fringe detailing that hangs from the bottom. Make sure to use the code Annika Moves before it expires on November 16th. <laughs> I also saw online that it said it was super important to not look at your phone and even though I really try not to get on my phone in the morning, I feel like I still end up getting on it for like the weather and maybe to check emails and I'm really trying to like not do that until I had some other sort of like light exposure. I just remembered I have retinol on from last night so I need to take that off just changed like two nights ago so there is already some sun out even though it's like 7 15 which is so 
nice. And I used to hate this time change. This time change was my enemy. I've actually been liking it so far because now I feel like I'm able to get up earlier and not feel like it's so early or like literally the middle of the night. talked about how important it is to get outside and get sunlight exposure. Apparently it's like the most optimal stimulus for your eyes and for the neurons in your eyes, which makes sense. I feel like even overhead lighting can be really harsh in the morning. He explained how like 10 to 30 minutes of a walk is also really good for your heart while you do it. So you're kind of just like waking up your body in a really natural, calming way. seriously a spiritual experience that was so nice what a beautiful way to start your day i don't know why i never like thought of like let's get outside like first thing in the day and i know a huge thing that i was reading too is that like it's really important to give yourself like 90 to 120 minutes of literal just wake up time before you even like start your day which is kind of crazy to me because i'm definitely the type of person that just kind of rolls out of bed i give myself like 20 minutes to wake up and then i'm like okay let's go as part of this morning routine is i believe it's called nidra yoga and this is apparently a type of yoga that i've never done before and so what i'm seeing is it helps you like relax and reboot your nervous system Wait, am I just supposed to lay down? There's literally no moves. I don't think this is the yoga I'm thinking of. You just lay down. Okay, so it's like meditation. trying to use a wide tooth comb more i hate them honestly i don't know why i feel like it's way more satisfying for me to brush my hair with like a regular like bristled brush i know that this is like healthier when your hair is really wet i also just tried a cold like rinse at the end of my shower so i think just cold exposure in general has become a lot more popular recently people are swearing by cold plunges andrew huberman swears by his cold plunge every single morning i obviously don't have a tub to plunge myself in it said an alternative to that could be either taking like a cold shower or at least doing a cold rinse like at the end of your shower which i've heard is really good for you i've heard it's really good for your skin too so i tried it I can confirm I hate the way it feels. I think over time though, it probably starts to feel really refreshing. During the summer though, I love it, but there are some cold exposure benefits. I screenshotted some, it said it's really good for your mental health, metabolism, physical performance, hormone health, immune system, and pain tolerance, which I thought was so interesting. I have really bad pain tolerance personally. At least I think I do. I just feel like it's not the best. And so I feel like that actually would be really helpful for me to like start getting used to like cold exposure. So I feel like a more practical way for me to incorporate that is like just a cold rinse. Nothing makes me feel as fresh as like a fresh blow dry. Okay, so the next part of this routine is supplements and Andrew Huberman actually drinks AG1, which is convenient for me since I have that. I have the bottle filled right here. And this is just like all of my micronutrients and vitamins for the day. And I love it. It also has a probiotic, um, so it kind of just knocks everything out. Thank <laughs> you. 
since it is currently 10 a.m this is the point when i read that he has like his first intake of caffeine in the routine and kind of stressed how it was important to not have caffeine within at least the first like two hours of your day that's not what i usually do if i'm going to the gym you guys know i'll wake up and drink some pre-workout he says that he likes to drink coffee or yerba mate and the reason for delaying the caffeine is kind of to let like i said your body wake up on its own which is what like the sunlight's supposed to help with and like the walking i am going to drink some matcha i have some peak matcha here in these little packets i'm gonna make this and i also heard that this is supposed to help avoid like the 3 p.m crash So yesterday I filmed a reel of me doing like the cold girl makeup and I'm just, I'm re-obsessed with it. That's kind of what I'm going to try and do again. Also, I love this Refi primer. I honestly don't know if it makes a difference, but it is really fun to put on. I've been doing like all of my cream cheek products before my concealer. Persona Cosmetics kindly gifted me some of their like cream cheek products and some of their other makeup and i tried it out yesterday and i love it i had not heard about them and then i started seeing them all over my feed and then i'm going to use their blush stick in guava To kind of finish off the like rosiness, the cheeks, I go in with a cooler toned blush since the guava one is very warm toned. And then just, you can be messy with it, just kind of. Now I'm just gonna add some inner corner highlight mascara and some little faux freckles. They sent me two of their peptide lip balm. I think I'm going to do the color June because it's like a pinkier color to kind of match the rest of the makeup. Let's get dressed and then we're gonna head over to my office and start the first work block. I think I'm gonna go cozy loungewear and I'm just gonna leave my hair like blow dried. Okay, let me show you today's outfit. I went for full teddy bear. This is all from Gilly Hicks and I've been loving these Sherpa sets. Please ignore the bats. I know it's like not technically spooky season anymore, but it's like this weird transition between Halloween, autumn, and Christmas. I have on this half zip and I paired it with the brown matching shorts and then I have on my Uggs. I love how everything is like monochrome, like this teddy brown. Okay, it's time to start. Work block number one. What I saw online for the way he schedules his day is he does two work blocks. The first one contains like the more mentally challenging tasks that you have for the day. So kind of like your primary tasks, anything that takes more mental energy, more thinking, more brain power. And then the second work block is anything that is kind of more free flowing with more creativity involved, just a little bit more of like a laid back session, which I absolutely love splitting my day like that. It is currently 11.30. I'm gonna split my work block until like 2 p.m. I'm just gonna write in my planner probably. So I'm just going to use the schedule part to break up the work block. So we'll go from 11.30 to, I'm gonna put a lunch break at like one and then probably from 2.30 to, I believe, I'm gonna do until five. Number two for creative and this is brain. Okay, I just kind of split it up on those two work blocks. In brain work and creative work, those are labels I have clearly given it. You may have noticed I didn't eat like a 
full breakfast. I kind of just had a protein bar. I don't remember if I told you. Andrew Huberman is like big on intermittent fasting. I have never tried it before. And today, because I didn't work out, I actually wasn't that hungry. So I just had a protein bar. I think listen to your body. Try it out if you want to. You don't have to. Again, this is like I'm kind of tailoring his theories and methods to my day and how I'm feeling. If I was super hungry, I would have just eaten. So I'm going to start on this. So I guess work block number one starts right now. And I'm gonna be editing a video on this computer, but I need to back up all the footage onto my hard drive. Okay, I'm gonna take a second to have a little lunch break. And today we are going super easy with it. I have this Rayo's slow simmered vegetable minestrone that I'm just gonna heat up and make because it's so easy to just have like pre-made lunch. Um, and it is soup season. Continuing work block number one, I'm gonna edit a sit down video that I filmed, but it won't be up till like later in the month. Um, but it is due at the end of this week. And usually when I know I'll have more time to like edit a video, I'll edit it on my iMac and it's just so much easier on my iMac. Also, I'm snacking on some baked hot Cheetos. These are like my favorite snack, my favorite guilty pleasure. Also just wanted to update you guys because whenever I change my planning style I like to update the vlog since I know so many of us love to organize and plan our days together. I have changed the way that I am planning out like all of my content. I was doing it on my iPad um, in more of like a written format. I'm just pulling it up to show you. I have started going back to google calendar i was finding that the ipad wasn't working only because i was handwriting everything i still really like that social media planner for like planning out my videos and stuff i was having issues with the ipad because i was having to move so many things around um things really are kind of up in the air until you solidify things with brands or like when you're closer to like the upload date sometimes dates change and so i was constantly having to like erase on the ipad and it just like wasn't working it's not super intuitive to like type on good notes in like kind of like a free format that's not like a line notebook so i started trying to use google calendar and i really 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 like it so far like it's just so easy it's color coded it's just like a more organized version of the ipad and i can just drag and drop things if i need to move them around so i'm going to update this right now i got a few more things solidified just got some replies and I want to put them into the calendar before I forget. But I'm still planning like video concepts and stuff on my iPad. I was also finding that on my iPad, I like needed it sometimes and I didn't have it with me. And obviously I always have my phone or like some sort of device with me to be able to check Google Calendar. So this has been working really well. <laughs> officially finished work block number one so i read a few articles where andrew huberman talked about like in between his work sessions if he's feeling like a little bit fatigued or something he will do another round of like that yoga that we did this morning because there's like really short ones on youtube you can do like five minutes ten minutes it's basically just meditation basically he meditates um throughout his day if he's feeling fatigued which i know is like a really great practice my mom does it sometimes when she's at work i've tried it before and kind of see if it's i feel like it would be like a good division between the two work sessions so your mind can like reset there's like so many on youtube I'll, I'll link like the one that i'm listening to down below oh look there's a five minute wait deep rest reset yeah I'm a, there's a five minute one i'm gonna do this you're just gonna watch me lay again i think you're supposed just to cover your eyes so i'm just gonna take a deep breath in on the exhale let it go through the mouth watch yourself <laughs>
courtyard in my building because I just wanted to get outside for the second work block. I feel like what I've noticed today is that a huge part of Andrew Huberman's like routine I feel like is focused on being outside as much as you can and I feel like just letting your body naturally boost like the happy chemicals in your brain whether it's getting outside getting some exercise meditation I'm gonna save like more of my thoughts for the end of the video and the weather's really nice it's like 80 degrees it's not super fall weather but it is not hot so I'm able to sit outside I brought my work bag with me and we're gonna do some more laid-back work <laughs> Now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials to remember we're talking about they're like going through a lot of hardship. So that tested the genuineness of your faith. And I feel like it's like what you're talking about, like when you're in crisis, your faith is definitely tested and you either step up to the plate or you abandon it. And it says more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire. I understand what it's saying now. It's saying your faith is more precious than gold because gold perishes even though it is tested by fire. And it's saying how your faith may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with that joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Glory doesn't always look like happiness. Like people think they're interchangeable, but they're not. It's officially time to change from these comfy clothes to another set of comfy clothes. I'm changing to the white Sherpa set because it is seven o'clock right now. So for the routine, I was supposed to cook dinner. I really don't feel like it. I'm just not in that headspace right now. So Renee brought me a sandwich to eat. It's a veggie sandwich with some chips. Sounds amazing. So I'm just going to eat that. The only thing that's kind of like that I've seen that's essential for like the evening part of the daily routine is Huberman does really emphasize that he tries to minimize any type of light in his environment. So what I read was that he said like literally only keep on light or lamps that you would need to see so you don't like bump into things. Um, but besides that, like really try not to use any type of overhead lighting and use candlelight for like the evening time. And that apparently is supposed to help your mind wind down like a lot. I'm gonna try and do my skincare and candlelight. Other thing I saw was that he is asleep by like 10 to 11 p.m. And just like no screen time basically. Um, so I guess no PLL for me tonight, but I will be reading because I do need to read some of my book. I guess it's gonna be a very quiet night which I guess makes sense for the evening, kind of like bringing everything back down to lower energy levels, lower pace. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna eat dinner in my living room, but once he leaves, I'm gonna come into my room and kind of like do a very zen, very calm evening routine from here. It's pretty dim. The TV's on, but besides that, it's all very dark in here. Guys, I feel like I'm in the 1800s. Me with my candlestick. Like I'm Clara and the Nutcracker. Okay, anyways, I kinda like this. This is giving cozy. I can't see. 
Or are you dropping things? to travel back over there. So I just turned on the lamp to kind of bring some light back into this so I can end the video. I'm done with the routine officially, we've tested it out, and I have a few thoughts. So I know I didn't follow it like to a T, his can be, I mean it's quite strict I guess like for his lifestyle, it fits. I kind of just took a more generalized approach, took more habits from his, applied it to mine. But some things I noticed from it was I felt like this routine had a huge focus overall on just like bodily awareness the first thing morning sunlight to the morning walk to the yoga like so much of it was focused on being aware of your body and i feel like your body's natural cues that you can kind of onset i think that that was like what i enjoyed most about today was that i i had a more i think physical sense of self like i don't think i'm ever really focused on that like i think mentally i check in with myself emotionally i check in with myself but physically i'm never really focused on like optimizing my body's natural rhythms and cues and like all of that he has just built a routine that is super focused on bodily awareness. I liked how everything was really focused on like using my environment and my own resources like meditation to put my body in certain states of mind and states of awareness. Like we definitely brought my body into a higher awareness throughout the kind of hour and a half long wake up process, doing it with the sunlight and then we brought it back down with the candlelight and the evening flow and all of it was just using very natural habits. It felt like we tailored the day to like my body and my anatomy. I know this can't fit every single lifestyle, every single work schedule, but I think if you even just pull habits from this and try it out and try and incorporate it, it will definitely create some positive change in your routine. It was so structured and scheduled, but not in like a strict kind of like boring overbearing way maybe we can make this a series where i like test out people's routines i think that would actually be super fun that is it for this video make sure to like and subscribe if you like the vlogs if you like the productivity theme videos and follow me on instagram i will have it linked down below thank you guys so much for your support i love you all and i will see you in my next video